Welcome to Highline Excel 2013 class video number 45. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for week 9, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to talk about combining chart types and secondary axis in Excel 2013. Now, the bottom line is they added a new combined chart feature that is just amazing. I am going to show you how to do it manually first. Let's say, and the reason why is sometimes the charting engine, even the new combo engine, won't guess right. And so knowing how to do it manually is important. Hey, let's just highlight this. And I'm going to use our keyboard Alt F1 to give us the default chart, which is a column chart. And now I want to add these expenses. Now, there's a few ways we could do this. We could actually go to Select Data and then click Add and add the series name and the series values. If you do it this way, be sure to delete that first. That little array thing gets in the way sometimes. So and then click OK, click OK. Now, what happened? Well, it's because there are percentages and there's too, they're too small. Here's a cool trick. If you click on some element in the chart and use your up arrows, you can toggle through the different elements. There are other ways to grab parts of the chart. You can go up to Format, and then there's the drop down for all the different elements. But I like the arrow key, boop, boop. So now that we have that, I'd like to add it to the secondary axis. So I need to come over to the Format Series, click on Series, and there it is, Secondary Axis. Now, whoa, look at that. That shows me percentages, which is pretty cool. But that's not what I want. So now I'd have to change the chart type. No problem. I can actually right click, Change Series Chart Type. And now I can go up. And it brings me right to Combo here in uh, 2013. It's pretty cool. Check this out. I can come down to this and choose which I want. I'm going to select that one right there and click OK. That is pretty amazing. I might delete that because that looks like chart junk. I might click on this and then over in our format legend say show at top revenue expenses, expenses as a percent. Um, actually, let's change that of revenue, something better than uh, that wasn't explicit enough. So there we go. That's how to do it manually. You're not going to believe how amazing it is in 2013. I can simply highlight this and go right up to Insert, this combo drop down. And I select this one. It gives me the preview. You can see down here there's it, the uh, gray line showed up uh, in as a on the primary axis. But now I come over and look at this one. You've got to be kidding me. It gets it right. This is an amazing combination chart in Excel 2013. And then we'd have to get rid of this chart junk, move this to. And there we go. So either way. One other uh, note I would like to show you in this video is if earlier we highlighted this and do, did Alt F1. And we got this chart. We can, without having to go up to Select Data, we can actually point to the edge of one of these. And that little diagonal black arrow, if I click and drag, that will bring it to the chart. And then I can click an arrow, arrow to grab it, and then do whatever I want from that point forward. All right, uh, combination charts and secondary axis. We'll see you next video.